Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Jeannie and I just got the Vivid Glamco December Duo and I had to use it immediately so I figured I'd do a neutral Christmas Manny for today's video. Bubbly and Toast from this duo are just the perfect neutral pairings and they just are so gorgeous. And I love with these duos, it kind of takes the guesswork out of choosing your Mannies because they're perfectly paired for you. I decided to change up my shape and I'm not sure how I feel about them, but during the Black Friday sale, I did pick up some new jelly tips. So these are the Sharp Square Short, which wow, that's a tongue twister. And I wanted to try them because whenever I'm wearing square tips, I like my squares to be super crisp. And I like that these are crisper than the normal squares that you get. I'm just not sure how I like them on myself. I'm not sure if they make my fingers look stubby or not. This is going to be an all vivid glam co mani so of course i'm going to be using her dip liquids which are some of my favorites and these bottles are actually almost gone so i did pick up another set during the black friday sale as well but the other thing i wanted to show you is december's perpetual chaos color from chaos concepts so this is the liquid chaos trio and it is in the new color tinsel and i just love the winter vibe so it's this silvery metallic beautiful color I'm going to be starting with Toast, which is described as a warm nude with pink undertones, and it has the most gorgeous shimmer to it. So you can see the pink kind of here in the jar, but when I dipped on it because of my skin tone, it actually kind of had like mauve undertones on me. But this one was definitely an interesting one because depending on the lighting, it is looking different. So sometimes it would look pink on me, sometimes just brown, and then most times though, it kind of had that mauve look to it, which I'm definitely not complaining about. So depending on your lighting and your skin tone, it will look different, but it is just so beautiful. And the shimmer, let me tell you, is just amazing. You can see here after my first dip, it's a lighter pinker nude color, but after my second dip, it kind of deepens up and becomes a deeper shade. And you know, I can say that this is full coverage in one dip. So if you want to keep it the lighter shade, you can totally get away with just one dip, but I wanted to do two per my normal process. So it went a little bit darker once I did that second dip. I'm gonna continue with toast on my middle and ring finger, but while I'm doing that, let's talk about the duos that Vivid Glam Co. releases. So each month there's a new duo, and she started this um, maybe in July, I'm wanting to say, sometime this summer, she started these beautiful duos, and the way she does it is they're available the first of the month and for that entire month, so like this December duo, it's available at a discounted price. And then anything left over after December or after the month of the duo, they become available as separates, but at full price. So I highly suggest you take advantage of the duos during their month because they are discounted and they're always so perfectly paired. I don't know how Logan does it, but they're just always so beautiful. And I absolutely love that I don't have to stare at swatch sticks and try to figure out what colors I'm gonna do. And you know, it's just kind of paired for you. So you've got your Manny right there. And it's just, if you wanna add any kind of nail art design, you can, but there's no guesswork with the colors because you know these two go so well together. And I will also note that I am an ambassador for Vivid Glam Co. So you can use my code Genie10 and save 10% off all your orders. There are no exclusions, which I think is amazing. So you might as well fill up your cart while you can get a discount code, right? I went ahead and dusted the excess powder off camera to kind of keep my area clean but now that i'm on my second coat pay attention to the color difference so it definitely deepens up as soon as i dip into my second layer of toast and honestly i thought about doing one coat of toast on my middle finger because that's where i'm going to do my ornament nail art but as soon as i saw the color difference between one coat and two coat I thought it would look too off if I did only one coat on one nail and then two coats on the others. So I went ahead and did two coats on all three of those fingers just to keep them looking consistent. Looking at the video now, after I've done my Manny, it actually isn't as easy to tell on video the color difference of how my index finger 
is darker than my other two fingers, but in person, there definitely it was enough of a difference to where I didn't want my nails to look inconsistent, or I didn't want it to look like I was wearing different colors, so I went ahead and dipped both other fingers in toast as well. I'll walk you through the process more in detail once I get to the ornament nail art, but I will say that I didn't initially want to do two dips of toast on my middle finger because I didn't want it to look too bulky with the ornament nail art. So what I did instead is I went ahead and do my did my two dips and then I capped and cleared, activated and filed and buffed. And that way my layers were smooth and thinner and that way I wouldn't have to worry about excess bulk with adding that ornament, which worked out really well in my opinion. I decided I'd go ahead and cap all my nails together at the end because toast is such a heavy shimmer that I didn't think it would matter if I went ahead and went in with my glitter. So now we're getting into bubbly, which is the other half of the December duo, and wait till you see how stunning this glitter is. I seriously cannot stop staring at it. So I did swatch it beforehand, and what I learned from swatching it is it has really great coverage. So my normal process for chunky glitters is to the first layer pour over and the second layer lay my finger in. But because from swatching, I learned that it was such great coverage, I just decided for my first layer to lay my nail into the glitter. And let me tell you, it was such good coverage that I just stuck with one layer, which I never do. I always do two layers no matter what but I didn't want my nails to become too bulky and I just knew what good coverage it was. So I, you know, I did my first layer, laid my finger into the glitter, and now I'm just kind of moving around the chunkier pieces to make sure that they're kind of laying flat and on my nail. So just kind of doing that right here, moving them around, pressing them down a little bit and cleaning up the shape too. So if it if kind of pushed out my shape a little bit, I may pinch that in a little bit just to clean up my shape. And then the only one thing that I noticed is at the tip of my nail is where there was like less coverage where I felt like needed a little bit more. So I'm just applying the tiniest, tiniest bit of dip base and dipping that in just so it has a little bit more coverage. But that's really all I needed to do for this glitter because it covered so well. Before I do my thumb, I'm just giving my jar a little bit of shake just to even out the powder a bit and then get the chunky glitters to the top. And this is going to be the same process. I'm only going to do one dip of the glitter and I'm just going to do my layer of dip base and lay my thumb into that glitter. And obviously my thumb is a bigger area to cover than my pinky. So the same thing though, like I picked up so many chunky glitters that I actually had to move them around a little bit more knock some off and then I had coverage but my tip still for some reason the tip area gets less coverage so I still did the same thing of applying just a tiny bit of dip base at my tip and dipping that in so I could pick up some of those smaller glitters that are in here just so it wouldn't be bare at my tip area. Thank you. 
At this point, my nail is fully covered, but I decided I wanted just a couple more pieces of chunky glitters just for like uniformity because there were a lot of chunky glitters concentrated at my cuticle area, but I didn't need to do that. And it was only three or four maybe pieces that I placed. So it was very minimal. Now that I'm done with all my dips, I'm going to go ahead and cap all my nails in clear. Now I did speed this up, but I wanted to keep this in because I wanted to kind of explain to you what I was doing. So with Toast, the heavy shimmer, you probably didn't need to cap it in clear. Like I suspect that if you went ahead and filed and buffed, you wouldn't get any splotchiness with it just because it was good coverage in one coat. So total personal preference for me, I like to cap in clear no matter what. But for bubbly, which is the chunky glitter, you definitely want to make sure you're encapsulating that unless you aren't doing any filing and buffing. Because if you don't protect those glitters and you try to file and buff on top of them, you could accidentally file through those glitters. And so any of the colored glitters, they're usually silver on the inside. So you'd lose that beautiful color of bubbly. So you definitely want to make sure you're encapsulating your glitters at the minimum. When I cap chunkier glitters in clear, I do make sure I put a healthy layer of dip base just so it gets into all like the nooks and crannies of the glitter. And also that's why you see me pressing down my clear is because I want it to get down into those nooks and crannies so that my nails will be smooth and even. I went ahead and filed and buffed off camera. So here's how we're looking now. So I'm gonna get into the ornament nail art. So for the ornament nail art, I'm gonna use my little resin palette and then I will be using the Vivid Glam Co. Delicate Gel, which is actually a two-in-one base plus top gel. So I'm gonna put just a little dab of that onto my palette and then I'll use a bigger end of a dotting tool to kind of make that circle. I want that ornament circle look, but I do wanna make it bigger, but the dotting tool helps me create a better circle. So I'm just gonna start in the middle and just kind of fan my way out just to make the area a little bit larger because that's gonna be what my glitter is going to stick to. So I am trying to make it as centered as possible, just kind of looking at it, making sure I've got the right size and shape. And then once I've got that all down, I will very gently lay my finger into the glitter. So you wanna be really careful because the gel is wet, so you don't wanna move it around too much. But what I'm doing is I'm taking this flat end of a orange wood stick and kind of pushing in the sides a little bit just to make sure that I've got like a crisp circle for my ornament and that if any of the gel had kind of pushed out and made like less of a circle shape. I want to make sure I'm cleaning up those sides as well. So that's kind of what you see me doing here. Mm -hmm. 
I picked up these adorable bow gems from West Coast Dips recently and I've been dying to use them so I thought it would be really cute to put it on top of the ornament as like the bow on top of the ornament. So I will be using iGel Beauty's jewelry gel to adhere it to my nail and I do have an affiliate code with iGel Beauty. You can use code Genie60 to save 60% off your orders. So I'm just taking an orange wood stick and grabbing like a good amount of that jewelry gel onto the end of it. And then I will place that on top of my ornament where I want that gem to stick. And let me tell you, this jewelry gel is strong. Like your gems will stay on forever. So the other hack I learned is once you have your jewelry gel on, you want to go ahead and coat your entire nail in your gel top coat. And that includes on top of your jewelry gel. So not only does it make the bond stronger, it you don't want to top coat your gem with your gel or else you could dull it. So it's really difficult to top coat around your gem depending on the size. So it just makes it easier because once you cure, once you've got your gem on and you cure your gel, no need to top coat, you're already done. So I'm going to be using my cuticle tool from Vivid Glam Coat and the other end of it is actually a wax picker which helps you pick up those gems. So I pick up the bow and I place that on top of the ornament where I have that jewelry gel. And then I realize it covers up my whole ornament so I can't use it, which makes me so sad because I was really looking forward to using it. So I'll just have to find another, another reason to use that. So instead, I've got these little charms from iGel Beauty and I'm gonna use that because it's a cute little bow, but it's just a lot smaller so it doesn't cover my entire ornament. And then once I've got that in place and kind of center to where I want it, I'll give that a full 60 second cure. And of course I need a little string to connect to my ornament. So I'm just taking my white liner gel and just drawing a line from the top of that bow to my cuticle line so that it kind of ties the whole look together and there's just not like a random ornament in the middle of my nail. I went ahead and gave that a full 60 second cure so now my middle finger is done but for the rest of my fingers because I'm a dip top coat girl I'm going to go ahead and use dip top coat for the rest of my nails. So I'm applying one thin layer of activator on all my nails. I'll wait my two minutes and then I will go in with my top coat. Now that my top coat is dry, I'm going to finish off my mani with my Scales of a Mermaid cuticle balm in the scent You Rain. This was an exclusive freebie a couple months ago, but then it turned mainline and I absolutely love it. It is such a great scent and I'm really loving the cuticle balms lately, especially with the colder weather coming. They just really hydrate my skin and they're not messy. They don't leave my hands greasy. They just absorb in super quickly. And here we are with the finished look. What do you think? It's just a neutral, simple Christmas mani, but this glitter bubbly, let me tell you, it is just so gorgeous and there is nothing simple about it. I seriously keep staring at it. But I'm still on the fence on these short square tips. I 
I really love Vivid Glam Co's tips, but I really think I might just be a medium length now. I'm not sure how I feel about them. Like, do my fingers look stubby or I'm not sure, but I will say I absolutely love how crisp the shape is. I hope maybe she comes out with some medium sharp tips as well, because I would definitely give those a try. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. And I hope you picked up this December duo. If you haven't, it's on discount for the month of December, as well as you can stack my discount code on top of that. So I would highly recommend it. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It lets me know to continue creating content like this and also helps YouTube recommend me to others. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. I upload content every Monday and Thursday at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. As always, I appreciate you being here. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.